live. I hope I live. It's coming down on me. Here it comes. I'm getting behind a car. With this tragedy that we've seen at the World Trade Center today, you have to imagine that some people probably did not make it out all right. A moment to honor the lives lost and sacrifices made on that September morning. Painful to remember for many, but impossible to forget. He calls saying that uh, his building had been hit, that he was going to stay behind the train up his cover. <laughs> His co-workers evacuate. That's the last. It's weird. <laughs> I ran away from this for 20 years, but I'm here to read his, his, his name today. Terrence Edward Adderley Jr. Sophia B. Otto. Nearly 3,000 names read out loud on this 20th anniversary of 9-11 and silence to mark the exact times when hijacked planes crashed into New York's World Trade Center. My name is Mike Lowe, and my daughter Sarah Elizabeth Lowe was a flight attendant on that plane. The Pentagon and a Pennsylvania field. And when the Trade Center's 110-story Twin Towers toppled, President Joe Biden joining former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton at Ground Zero. Biden did not deliver remarks, but released a video recalling a time of American unity. We learned that unity is the one thing that must never break. It was more than just a horrific event. It really has changed the way we live. This professor of international relations says 20 years later, the world is better able to cope with terrorism, but it remains a threat. We are facing an ongoing threat from terrorism, international terrorism, that is likely to escalate rather than diminish. A sentiment echoed by George W. Bush at the memorial in Pennsylvania, where he called out domestic terrorism in the U.S. There is little cultural overlap between violent extremists abroad and violent extremists at home. They are children of the same foul spirit, and it is our continuing duty to confront them. Bush was in his first year as president when the attacks took place. The anniversary was the first without U.S. troops on the ground in Afghanistan. The scars of that crystal clear day and the wars that followed laid bare on this September morning. We lost some friends. We seen firefighters that were like brothers that passed away. And plus, we went to war, so it's a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a hard couple of years for us. It still is, 20 years later. Biden paid tribute at all three attack sites Saturday, here at a wreath-laying ceremony at the Pentagon. After an earlier stop at the crash site in Pennsylvania, Biden once again spoke of restoring national unity and preserving democracy. Karen Seolin, City News.